Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install OBS Studio plugins. That's it, that, that's the video. This is just a straightforward how-to video. It should take a few minutes at the most, and then that's it. You'll be you'll be left with the knowledge for life on how to install a plugin for OBS Studios. If you find it useful, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. If you wanna ask me any questions whatsoever, please check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Machine Dana, and let's go, let's get into it. Okay. Just talking very quickly about the ergonomics of my screen right now. All I've got here is the OBS Studio, which is open broadcast software, obsproject.com. I'll link it in the description. You can go to the browser here and basically browse around on the different plugins, OBS Studio plugins, themes, tools, all kinds of different stuff like that. We're interested in the OBS Studio plugins, and I've located a plugin that I want to install on OBS Studio, okay? So we'll just bear that in mind for now. This is one called StreamFX. It's a really good plugin. I would highly recommend it. Now we need to go into our program files here on windows the default installation of obs studios unless you've chosen to change it to a different drive in which case i'm not going to hunt on your drive you need to hunt for it you, you need to find obs studios the folder okay now you just need to be careful here because you may have two program files folders and you may have something like an obs studio ftl if you've got this and it looks like that it's basically the wrong one you need to go into the program files one find obs studios it should look a little bit like this you should have bin data obs plugins and if you're really not enjoying obs studio you've got the uninstall file as well so you've got the right location in our program files now we need to go to the downloads we've not downloaded it yet just need to be careful here because this is the github sort of source code url if you're interested in reading code and understanding the inner workings of plugins you can click on this link and and bob's your uncle and fanny's your aunt and you can read all the ins and outs of the, the code and Anyway, whatever. If you want to be a nerd, you can be a nerd, okay? Go nerd out. You can check Discord and Twitter out of StreamFX. We're interested in just the downloads, yeah? So we're going to download this. This is the download. Some change information here. We get different versions as well. So for certain plugins, it might suit you to have like an earlier version depending on certain factors, things like that. This is all stuff that you learn on the forums, okay? Like you don't just know this stuff. You learn it. You learn it on YouTube, okay? People like me but better. With installations, it's basically up to the developer on how they serve up the installation files to you and that installation process. So you may find that some plugins are a little bit more easier to install than others. For example, this is an advanced scene switcher plugin for OBS Studio. If I click go to download, it will just, I think, download the zip file with the installation and I'll show you how we can install this. Whereas, for StreamFX, when we click go to download, it takes us to the GitHub page. And actually, we've got a load of different asset files that we can work with here. And it's the .exe that we want to be working with here. But I've only established that after reading the information about this particular install. So if there is an install or a plugin that you really, really want, but it's like quite a complicated installation process, just make sure you follow the developer's guidance when you are installing them. That's really, really important because sometimes that can be the maker or breaker of the plugin. It can literally stop a plugin from working or even being compatible if you don't install it correctly. In this particular example, you can install it through the, the zip file. And I could, I'll show you that with the advanced scene switcher example but you can just, with this particular one here, download it directly from the installer and it will place the files and go through that normal installation process if I click the .exe. I'm not gonna click that, I've already got it installed. But the advanced scene switcher, I've got now downloaded and it's just here, so it needs to be extracted. I can just like, you can open it up and just like, I normally just do this. And then it appears here. We now have the files for this. Plus, of course, we want to go into Windows. We've now got OBS plugins and data as a folder, and this matches the folders that we have already installed. So we're pretty much just going to copy over the files here. So let's go into data from the download, OBS plugins, advanced scene switcher. We can just get the folder. Data, OBS plugins, unless you just copy it over into OBS plugins. It'll ask for administration rights, continue, and there it is in the data. The data files are installed. Now we need to go to the plugin, select 64-bit if you are on a 64-bit. And now we're going back to the scene switcher on Windows and into the OBS Studio. Select 64-bit or whatever you're running and you'll have some DLL files and some other files in here. Select all the files that are in this OBS plugin folder and drag it in to the OBS plugins folder. Agree to administration rights. And the advanced scene switcher is now installed there. I've installed that manually rather than using the, the .exe approach if i now click this on the 
Stream FX one, the EXE will just install. It'll do that process for you and it'll do all the executables and all the different things like that to make sure that you're not going to mess it up, okay? So that now advanced scene switcher is installed. If I was to click this, this would also be installed, but this one does it automatically, whereas this one we've done manually, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. I think it does. It's a bit of a boy installing plugins, but that really is the powerful thing about OBS Studio versus using something like Streamlabs OBS. The ease in Streamlabs OBS is definitely there and for beginners and maybe even like mid-level streamers that might suit them. But once you want to start getting into more complicated things that need plugins, OBS Studio is definitely something that's worth looking at. There you have it, how to install plugins on OBS Studio. See you later.